Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the Ursina Engine, 3D Python Game Engine, and this is tutorial number 18, Creating Bubbles. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create bubbles like particles in Ursina Engine. Now this is going to be similar to our previous video, creating sparks, only with a little twist. And I hope you like it. So first of all, let's import the Ursina module. So from your stuff, import star. Let's set up our basic Yersna app. So we can write app is equal to Yersna and then app.run. And in between this, I'm going to create a button. So to create a button, I can have, uh, I can just write b is equal to and then button with some parameters. I'm going to set my text equal to nothing. I'm going to set my color equal to color dot RGB and this size their color. 255, 255, 255, 0. And I'm going to set my scale to 2. So here, this first parameter um, just sets the text as an empty string because we don't really need any text as it's just a button. We also set the scale of, uh, as 2, so the button will cover the whole window. And we also have um, this colors, and it has four parameters. The first three represents the RGB color which is white in this case, and this fourth parameter represents the transparency, and zero here means that it's totally transparent. So now let's create a bubble entity class, so we can use it to create bubbles. Now to create our class, I'm going to go up here and have a class of bubbles. I'm going to have an entity parameter defined in it of self, x and y I'm going to call super dot init and here this class takes in two parameters the x and the y coordinate of the bubbles so these two the x and the y represents the x and y coordinate of the bubbles now self dot parent is equal to camera dot ui um, and here we set the parent entity as the camera ui I'm going to set the model equal to a circle. I'm going to set the color equal to white. So the bubble color is basically going to be white. I'm going to set the scale equal to 0 0.012. Self.x is equal to the x parameter. Self.y is equal to the y. So I'm also going to add in an update function to just move the bubbles. So to find update of self. And self.x plus equal to random dot rand int negative two two divided by one thousand self dot y plus equal to random dot rand int zero two divided by five hundred and so this will just um, generate a random integer from negative two to two and then divide that number by 1,000, and that is going to be the change in x for each bubble. It's the same thing for the y, except it's going to be from 0 to 2, divided by 500. And so the y will always increase, as the x might decrease because the range is the range also includes negative. And self.scale minus equal 0.00015. So we are decreasing the scale of the bubble as well. Um, we will also do some boundary checking so that when the bubble is small enough, it will disappear. To do this, I will set, I'll create an if statement. So if self.scale is less than or equal to 0 0.005, then I will just destroy self, which is just going to destroy the bubble. I'm also going to create a function out here um, called create bubbles. And here I'm just going to create 10 bubbles, which is represented by num. I'm going to create a list of 10 empty list items. And then I'm going to loop through this uh, list. So for i in range num, e of i is equal to bubbles, so I'm creating an object of the bubbles class that we just created. Mouse.x 
mouse.y. So each time this function is called, 10 bubble objects will be created, and the position of the bubbles is where the mouse is. And so now that we have this button, whenever the button is clicked, we are going to call this function. So b dot on click. So when the button is clicked, I'm going to call create bubbles. And so if I save and run this, oh, let's see. So for i in range, wherever I click on this button, there should be bubbles being created. We'll start. So now whenever I click, there are 10 bubbles uh, created, and they and you notice that they move upwards and get smaller. And eventually they will disappear once their size decreases. Now what if we want the bubbles to be there once they're created instead of disappearing? Well then we'll need to modify our bubbles class. So I'll also add in self dot x of 0 is equal to x, and self dot, oh, uh, let's see, it's x, and then self dot y of 0 is equal to y. And here, self dot x of 0 and y of 0 are the initial uh, bubble coordinates when the mouse is clicked. So when a bubble becomes less than 0 0.005, um, we will reset its position and scale to its original values. And now we'll have all the bubbles uh, that are created. So instead of destroying it, I'm going to comment this out. I'm going to set self.x is equal to self.x0. Self.y is equal to self.y0. Or self.y initial. And self.scale is equal to 0 0.012. And if we see this in action, if I click here, Bubbles are going to keep um, a spawning from that click. And notice how I'm not clicking again. So if I just keep clicking random positions, there are going to be more bubbles um, being spawned. And I could just do this, or a bunch of bubbles will be spawned. Now, the bubble color is also just all white, which seems a little boring. So let's modify the co uh, code so that each time the bubble is created, they're going to have different colors. So let's do that. Let me close this. Right here, I'm going to have a color a variable called my color, and this is going to be a random color. So color dot random color. Now I'm going to add in another parameter, which is my color here, so that each bubble is going to be a random color. And instead of setting the color equal to color that white in our class, I am going to set it equal to my color, and I need to also add in this my color parameter up here. And if I save and run this, wherever I click, every single bubble will have a different color. Click, click, click. Okay, so this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.